I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Hey everybody, Skinny Mitch here. How you doing? Finally got it here. Been waiting for so long. Crossman Valiant 22 Cal. So happy. So I decided to do somewhat of an unboxing, go over some of the details on the box. Maybe point out a couple things that I learned um, while I was waiting for it to get here. Alrighty, so check it out. <clears throat> Valiant Adult Precision Air Rifle. Nitro Piston Elite, two times the accuracy of the spring powered brake barrel. Five year warranty, SBV gold silencing barrel device cbt two-stage adjustable trigger uh, cbt stands for clean break trigger it comes with a 4 by 32 center point scope but we all know about those so we won't even go over that wooden stock everybody says oh uh, it has a wooden stock and it's real wood it really does that's true uh, has open sights so if you don't want to put a scope on it you don't have to and springers from what i understand and gas pistons are notorious for blowing off scopes uh, i've seen several reviews some people have been able to keep a scope on it some of them have not using various methods Okay, moving on over here, it says brake barrel air rifle. Ideal for target shooting. Crows, squirrels, and raccoons up to 1,100 feet per second. Well, we all know that's with alloy pellets. Uh, my friend's Valiant shoots. Let me see, the last time I was there, he was shooting at 835, and he was shooting for 850 because that's what he got the last time he shot. Um, and I think he did. He got uh, an average of 835, 840, but um, he did get 850 a couple times um, after it warmed up, I guess you could say, so to speak. Anyway, on the back of this, is pretty cool because it shows uh, the Nitro Elite piston, which um, I guess the old gas pistons, when they ran inside the tube, it was metal on metal. Uh, but the new ones, the Nitro Piston Elite, or two, if you will, have little Durlon or nylon dimples or nubs that come out to help guide it and to stop it from being metal on metal. I, I really like that about this. So then um, there's some three captions here that are highlighted. More accuracy, more speed, more power. Um, average groupings are reduced by one half inch due to the reduction of friction and vibration. Well that makes sense. and it's much better for beginner shooters right out of the box. Uh, it makes for a better experience for them right out of the box. My opinion, I think, anyway. And then we have uh, more speed. Nitro Piston Elite guns shoot up to 15% faster than standard gas pistons. Well, I have a Phantom Hunter. It's a 177. Pretty sure that's the standard gas piston, but I can't compare the two because one's 177 and this is a 22. Uh, Nitro Piston Elite. Oh, okay, sorry. More power. Nitro Piston Elite guns have 35% more power than standard gas pistons. Okay, um, 
again, uh, bear with me. Uh, I should have mentioned in the beginning, I've shot brake barrels in the past, but never really got into the mechanics of how they worked inside or any of that. I moved on to PCP and we all know how that goes down the rabbit hole I went. So, um, I can't really speak to this as true or not. It's what it says on the box. Again, I'm not the greatest at making videos, but I'm real world. Um, so then they have a diagram here. Up here says rifled steel barrel, but uh, Nitro Piston Elite and Standard. Uh, Nitro Piston Elite says it has two times the range, so a Raccoon at 40, a Squirrel at 60. A Standard Gas Piston is Raccoon at 20 and a Squirrel at 30. And we come over here, we got um, the silencing technology. I guess you have the silver, the gold, and the platinum. I've only seen the gold on the Valiant. I'm not sure how that works, what other guns they put these on. So I will not speak to that. But um, other than that, uh, oh, I wanted to talk about this real quick. Crossman sends you four different manuals in four different languages. So you don't have to discern through uh, different languages on one piece of paper. I like that. Um, one thing I want to talk about is their packing. They do a good job packing somewhat, but I mean, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see this in the picture or not, but if you look right here, you can see where that gun just pounded into there. And when it was in the bigger box, they just put a sleeve of uh, wadded up paper on the side, nothing to stop it from going back and forth in the box. I just don't get that. But uh, for the most part, Crossman is pretty good, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh. Even though this is shoots better out of the box, or more accurate out of the box than most brake barrels, you still have to learn the artillery artillery hold, or um, specifically how your gun likes to likes to be shot. Uh, little intricacies and stuff like that there. Um, but I have seen in the reviews that I've done where guys are shooting it on a front with a front rest. And they're just resting it in the same spot every time. And it's not intrusive on the stock. It's letting the gun recoil naturally and do its thing uh, with pretty good results. Anyway, let me bring you up for a close-up. Look at the end to see if it was all damaged up from ramming into the box. No, it looks good. Oh, they also say check your thumb hole stock right here to see if it's cracked. It feels pretty good. You know, hardwood, they say real, real wood. It is. I don't know what kind, but this is really nice finish. I know it's hard to tell with my camera lighting. I think I said in the beginning I, I might have or might not have, but I wanted to go outside and do this, but I'm afraid the neighbors will think it's a real gun. And you don't want the cops coming to your house in this neighborhood. <laughs> anyway, yeah, really, really nice wood. I really like that. Oh, uh, here's my 90 cubic inch bottles. I have three of them. Two of them are Ninja, one of them is a Benjamin. Um, I have the Easy Ninja Easy valve on there, and then the, just a straight valve on the Benjamin. Here's my Air Venturi compressor. I just got through changing the oil and wiping it all down, so it's naked right now. Down here is my 
90 cubic foot tank. Anyway, off the subject. I guess that's about it. So far I'm impressed. Um, I haven't shot it. So once I get a chance to go out and do that, um, I will do a few, uh, a full, ugh, a full video review and maybe explain some other things too that I learned along the way. So if you like, please subscribe. At the very least, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, a like or a no like. All right. Most important, be safe and have fun. See you next time.